Hey guys, this is Menak, and today we'll understand the importance of utilization ratio in Tecla Structural Designer. So after you complete a design uh, in Tecla, you can have the option of the utilization ratio. So the basic aim of this tool is to uh, ensure that we design the most economical as well as safe section as possible. So you know after you complete the design, a review option pops up. So if it doesn't, if you open the model after uh, you know a period of time, you can just uh, use the uh, icon in the bottom right of your screen and it is in the last icon okay, the first icon is structural view second icon is solver view third icon is results view and the fourth icon is review view so the review view will pop up and here you have the ratio option so you can see the utilization ratio comes up so we know that the minimum percentage of let's say in a beam as per the indian codes is 0.4 percent and the maximum uh, percentage of steel is four percent and similarly in a column it's uh, 0.4 to you know sorry 0.8 to six percent Similarly, for beam, it is 0.8 to 4%, and in a slab also there is 0.8% minimum. So we have minimum uh, percentage of steel in all the RCC members, and now a certain amount of stress or forces also act in this particular members. So let's say uh, we have this 0 to 0.5. So 0 to 0.5 utilization uh, ratio uh, indicates that you know the stresses are in the average range okay so if you just uh, click here and just uh, see check selection here you'll see the 350 into 350 bars and it is 8 bar of 16 mm but in this 8 bar of 16 mm the stresses are in the average range so it has not gone to the ultimate limit but if you see here this is blue blue means it is 0.7 to 0.9 so now if you see this it might have the same design you can see check it is the same design here 816 only but uh, here the stresses are little bit more so uh, if you are thinking that, like to decrease the size of a particular member so you will not touch the blue one because like the blue one is near to the ultimate limit so let's uh, try this column so if you just uh, uh, see this uh, column size 350 into 350 this is this was also 350 into 350 let's reduce the size of this a little bit okay so here uh, this size of this particular column 350 to 350 let's reduce that it by 25 mm okay so we'll do this 325 and 325 and click on ok and after that click on ok and right click and then design member let's go static and we'll design it so you can see this is 8 bar of 12 mm so earlier it was coming 8 bar of 16 mm but the color was orange so the utilization uh, was not fully done but now as i have reduced the size so the utilization is more that is more uh, forces are coming on this column so we can go up to green or you know uh, having uh, you know good amount of steel so that the cover enhance is maintained you can keep between yellow and blue and sometimes green depending on what the reinforcement is coming so like this you can uh, achieve to design a economically viable structure now many of you may ask uh, whether i have to do it you know one by one in all columns yes you know structural design process you know the amount you have paid for and if you have paid well then it's your duty to go one by one in all the particular columns so like uh, you'll find many tutorials in which the processes are there but when you do actual work then you have to go through each and every column one by one to uh, if you want to provide the most safe as well as the economical design to your client so that's all for today if you have any queries you can comment below see you why bye bye